Germany seems quite popular at the moment, and if my experience is anything to go by, a lot of people would like to move to live here. Well, I'm living proof that it can be done, but I would always advise people to think long and hard first. So, to help you, I've drawn up a list of five ill-advised reasons for permanently moving to Germany. I'm not saying these are terrible reasons, but if they are the only reasons for you wanting to go, you might want to ask yourself if you're not being just a little bit too hasty. I want to see castles and stuff. This is an excellent reason to visit Germany, just not a very good reason to actually live here. I mean, parts of Germany are very beautiful, as many of my videos set out to prove, but if you actually live here, you're going to have to be a bit more practical. You're going to have to get yourself a job, and that means living wherever the job is which means that you might find yourself living in a dull city and commuting to work five days a week on a crowded bus. The reality is just a little bit different from the dream. I disagree with my government's policies. No government can ever hope to please all of its citizens, and if you disagree with your government's policies, you're not alone. But can you be sure that you agree with all the German government's policies? Do you even know what they are? I love German culture. If by that you mean you like beer and German-style Christmas markets, you're not necessarily getting the whole picture. There's a lot more to German culture and you might find it surprisingly hard to adjust to. And you may also discover that there are certain aspects of German culture that you really don't like at all. I have German ancestry. OK, if your great-great-great-grandfather was a German citizen, it's possible that you may qualify for German citizenship, but that doesn't make you German, and it doesn't make it easier for you to live in Germany. Culture is learned, not inherited. So you may still find it difficult to live in Germany, even if you do put a pickle on your Christmas tree which, incidentally, is a tradition that almost no Germans have ever heard of. I want a free university education, but there are still some things that you'll need to pay for, and you'll need to pay for your own upkeep. And if you come over on a student visa, you will be restricted in the type of jobs that you'll be allowed to take on in order to earn money. Also, you'll need to learn German fluently because in Germany, surprise, surprise, most degree courses are taught in the German language. So if these are your only reasons, my advice would be first try living in Germany for a few months and then decide whether or not you really want to make the move permanent. Oh, and do try to get yourself fixed up with a job before you travel, especially if you're not an EU citizen. Coming up, links to a couple of videos that you might find useful, but before then, if you'd like to send me a postcard for the notice board behind me here, here's the address. Lower Saxony has finally dropped tuition fees. Culture shock is basically a feeling of isolation. I'm trying to make a video. What am I supposed to do now? Sweet Bonnie. Mm -hmm.